uh, the wisteria is actually a fairly soft wood. You can see it breaks very easily. Hi, Milton Chang of Bonsai Heirloom. Today I work on this wisteria bonsai. Uh, I planted this tree 25 years ago when I first moved into this, uh, uh, to build this house uh, to, for my garden. And this is how much it's grown. And I dug it up about two years ago uh, to put in, the, in a bonsai pot. And I've been cutting this back from time to time, but uh, this is probably cut when I dug it the last time, uh, about two years ago. So that's how much uh, wisteria grows in about 25 years. I must say uh, it was not in a, in a good location. Uh, so if I had grown it in a good location with a lot of fertilizer and water, it may even be bigger. And it was just a part of a landscaping tree. And I cut off the top and to make it into a bonsai. So let me say a few words about uh, wisteria. Uh, they are generally Japanese, Chinese, American, Kentucky varieties of uh, wisteria. Uh, generally, uh, they are uh, how tall they grow. Some of them can be really ranging 30, 40 feet long, uh, and they just keep going. Uh, the Chinese variety tend to have a very short flowering spikes uh, which is actually suitable for bonsai. Although you wouldn't worry too much about how long the flower spikes are. The American varieties tend to have very, very long spikes. And the point is that you generally have a little hovering over a pot so that the, the long uh, florescent, the, the flower will droop down quite a bit. And that's just fine. And some of the uh, Japanese bonsai, they're really uh, wonderful. Uh, there are many colors of the Japanese variety. Uh, the Chinese variety tend to be short. I believe this one I bought it from, at that time, a very famous uh, uh, fruit tree and flowering tree nursery called L.E. Cook. And I'm really sorry that company went out of business a few years back, about five years back. And, and in fact, the gentleman that started the uh, nursery is a very, very outstanding photographer. So I, I'm, I miss him. Uh, too bad uh, that I wish he would have kept the nursery. So uh, one of the questions the uh, audience wrote me is uh, how to propagate wisteria. First of all, they are quite easily uh, air layering, uh, big, big pieces even. Uh, the person that wrote me said he had difficulty getting it rooted. I think that's because you, tr you probably let it dry it out. If you don't let it dry out, keep it very, very wet. Uh, it tend to root, I, I believe, relatively easily. And the cutting uh, with the hardwood cutting or semi-hardwood cutting, I understand it's very difficult. Uh, and the book says, I haven't done it. And what the book says is that when you have a new growth in the springtime, uh, you use softwood cutting. That's quite easy. Uh, the other question was, that, can I use the uh, roots? And my belief, I haven't done it. Uh, I haven't need, uh, propagated the uh, wisteria because uh, generally I buy them. Uh, in, a, in the sense, in the nursery for landscaping, you can buy that quite readily. The problem with that is to make sure it's not a graph because then you worry about the graph mark. And then if you do the root cutting, uh, it will not come true because it will be that of the root. So with that in mind then, I'll just take it out of the pot to see. You can see this was actually cut out a piece uh, from a very large uh, uh, wisteria grown in the garden. Uh, you can see a lot of that is root, uh, rotted, actually. Uh, the wisteria is actually a fairly soft wood. You can see it breaks very easily. So, and you can see um, not too much uh, fibrous roots, but very large uh, roots. But that's okay, uh, that's the way it grows. Uh, so what I would do is I would clean off a little bit of soil and put in a pot to see if it fits. And then um, try to uh, uh, put in my good soil afterwards, uh, take my due time. So basically when you plant a, a big wisteria, it grows fairly rapidly. You can see uh, that's 25 years worth of growth. And you cut off a piece on top where it's rooted uh, to uh, make it into a bonsai. And be a little bit careful, not breaking too much of the fiber roots. And in the meantime, you can see 
also very large roots that's developing. Uh, and I believe if I cut out pieces so that it, it would root. Name of the variety uh, doesn't really matter very much because what's really important is the color of the, the flower. If you like the color of the flower and the length and the, the fragrance, uh, that's good enough uh, because it's hard to, uh, and they, there are so many interesting tree names, it's hard to keep up. But the main thing is the, so long as the right color and the right, uh, more or less the more shape, uh, that, uh, that's good enough. So springtime is a good time to repot wisteria uh, because that's when uh, the growth is active and before the leaves come out. Now I was told the Chinese Wisteria has one big advantage, uh, that is they tend to uh, have no leaves uh, when there's flower and the flower lasts many, um, a couple of months actually, or at least a few weeks. So uh, that's a big advantage when you have a bonsai. You want the flower to last a long time uh, and also um, a flower when there's no leaf to be showy. I will try not to break off the uh, uh, as much of the fibrous, fibrous roots as much as I can. Uh, these little fibrous roots is very helpful to keep the tree alive uh, because uh, uh, they're very likely, they're very easy to break off like this big piece is broken off. But there's enough here uh, to keep it going. Like this one, ideally is I should cut it off to make a root, but given there's so little roots, I'd rather keep it to uh, make sure it will help to keep the tree alive. So this is the pot I will put it in. The choice of the pots uh, for deciduous trees, generally you like to use a, um, a pot that's um, uh, colored. And I think the, uh, I'm not sure this is a very good match. I'm not a color expert. Uh, this pot uh, matches the color of the, the flower. Uh, certainly uh, it's not bad. And what I should do is I should prod it up to give you an idea of what the tree will look like. This is uh, roughly the design I have uh, of the tree. Generally uh, for a wisteria, you really want to let the branches grow long during the summer months. So then it blossom and it was, uh, that are totally out of, uh, out of uh, line, then you cut it. But you generally don't worry about too much about the uh, the uh, growing of the uh, the flower uh, the uh, branches, but if I uh, cut off some of the long branches uh, next year, it would force the uh, lower branch to branch out, and then the flower will be closer to to this rather than all the way out. So with that in mind, then for example, uh, I would likely make this the apex and let this grow out uh, in time, but so this would be out of in a sense, the taller than the apex, maybe I'll bring it down some, but then it will be a lot of hanging flower to distract. So that's fine. You, you want to cut off some of the dead branches, like this branch is totally dead. So I will probably make this into a kind of a gin. And then I cut off the very long ones. Hopefully the shoot coming out later on uh, will have uh, 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 flower shoots on them. You don't worry too much about it uh, because uh, you really will be, your focus will be on the flower itself. Uh, but uh, of course, next year, I will not do this drastic cutting, but rather enjoy the flower. And when the flower is done, then I do the cutting. But in the meantime, I wanna show you uh, what I would do to the tree to shape it. So I would do the cutting now. But for example, I'll cut it here to have this shoot out. But in the meantime, I leave this alone so to have a little bit of flower uh, to enjoy. And then the same with this branch, I probably would have cut off here, but I cut off here to let this uh, uh, flower to, to show off. From a design standpoint, as a bonsai, uh, that's not a very good bonsai because it's got a lot of uh, 
random branches. But on the other hand, uh, the whole idea is to uh, enjoy the flower. So next year, what I can expect that all of these will be growing. And so you're going to have massive amount of uh, flower next year. So that's how it all starts. But I think this pot is not too bad and I'll keep it in this pot. So uh, today what I've done is I uh, took this uh, wisteria tree I planted uh, as a small whip uh, about 25 years ago in the ground. And I dug it up about three years ago, uh, cut back a lot. And uh, for wisteria, you really enjoy the flower. You, and as time goes on, there'll be more branching. You don't worry about too much about the uh, branch structure. You care about the branch structure of the main trunk, but you don't care about the branching structure because you just want to encourage a lot of flower to, to blossom so that they will be all be hanging to become very spectacular uh, over the years. So I will show you this tree next year this time. You will see probably 10 times the flower. It will be beautiful. When I did this, there's a one very long root that's, uh, that was not broken off, but the rest of it actually broke off, uh, the, the fibrous roots. I would say a good 50% of the fibrous roots are gone. It should be okay. Uh, I'm not a botanist, but uh, the way I see it is that in the wintertime, in the springtime, when you cut back a tree, you lost a lot of roots. If you cut off most of the branches, then the buds that are coming out it's not enough to enough water from the roots to feed it. So it would just stay put, it doesn't grow. It's when you don't have, if you have too much green and not enough roots, then the green dries out and the tree dies. But in the springtime, the roots are growing alongside with the bud that's shooting out. The bud will not shoot out until there's enough roots and vice versa so that it's really difficult to kill a tree in the springtime. So if you want to move a tree, dig a tree, do in the springtime. You can see this branch is coming up. It's not right. Uh, it's very, since it's very supple, it's easy to do a little bit of wiring to make it go in the right direction to look good. So with that in mind then, for example, uh, these can all be more drooping and so forth uh, for, to, for the flower show next year. So with that then, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you like my video and uh, click like. I uh, appreciate that, I enjoy that, uh, the, I encourage the encouragement. Subscribe to our channel so we keep you notified of any new video and also send us your email address so we can notify you of any tree sales. So with that in mind then, thank you very much. I hope to see you next week.